Hello everyone. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you've had a better day than me. I thought I'd videoed this already, got to the end and realised I hadn't pressed record. So that was a very good one. <laughs> Let's try this time. So today we are going to do the last one in our set of uh, adding a particular suffix. I'm not going to tell you which one because that's going to be my first question. So we're going to remember what we've been doing first. And here's three questions that I would love you to have a think about. So put your thinking caps on. Are you ready to think? I would like you to tell me where does a suffix join a word? I would like you to tell me which suffix have we been adding this week? And I would like you to tell me what are the two different ways we have learned about fixing ED to a word this week? Pause the video and see if you can answer all three questions. Great, let's see if you're right. Where does a suffix join a word? Okay, hopefully you said it fixes to the word at the end. Which suffix have we been adding this week? We have been adding the suffix ed. And what are the two ways we've learned about adding the suffix ed so far? Well, the first way was just to fix it to the end. We don't need to do anything. We're just going to fix it to the end of the word. The second way was a little bit more tricky. We needed to know our vowels, didn't we? Can you remember your vowels? Show me your fingers. A, E, I, O, U. Do you remember the uh, rhyme that we had? An elephant in olive underpants. That's right. And if the vowel was just before the very last letter, then we doubled the last letter before adding ed. So that was a slightly tricky one, wasn't it? But we've learned two ways to add the suffix ed. And today we're going to learn two more. So let's have a look. Here we go. So this time we're going to look at a word ending in E. I've got the word, the word love written down here. And if I just add ED to the end, I'm going to have this word which looks like loved. Doesn't look right, does it? That doesn't say loved. So the E was already there at the end of the word love. And so we're just going to add D. We don't need to add ED. We're just going to add D. Let's look at the second one. Oh, it says wave. Can you give me a wave? Lovely. So again, wave has an E at the end. If I add ED, then I'd have this word, wavid. Mm, that doesn't look like the word waved, does it? The E was already there. So we're just going to add D. We're not going to add ED. So you need to look out for words that end in E. And if they do, you just add D. OK, let's look at our next one. This time I've got two quite sad pictures. Can you see them? I've got the word cry and I've got the word worry. Now, if we followed our very first rule, which is to just add ED, the middle column shows you what it would look like. We'd keep the word and then we just add ED. But that's not how we add ED to words ending in Y. Can you see in the last column, what's changed? Can you pause the video and talk to the person you're with? What's changed about the words in the middle column and in the last column? OK, let's talk that through. Can you see that one of the letters has changed? I have changed the Y into an I and then I've added ED. And that is our fourth rule. If a word ends in Y, we change the Y to an I before adding ED. So then we have the word cried and the word worried. 
So we've now learned four different rules for adding ED. And what I'd like you to do as an activity today, I would like you to try and put into practice all that we've learned. So what I've done is I have made a table. Okay. And it shows you the four different rules that we've thought of. So the first one was where we just fixed ED to the end. We didn't need to do anything to the word. The second rule is when we cross out the Y and add an I before we add ED. The third one is when we just add a D. Can you remember what letter was at the end of the word when we just added D? It was an E, wasn't it? If the E is already there, we just add D. And then the last one is where we need to look for those vowels again. If we look for the vowel and it's just before the last letter, we double the last letter. Now underneath, can you see a chart that's got lots of words in? They're all in blue apart from two. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to choose a word from that chart I'd like you to add ED to it, and I would like you to put it in the right column. So you have to remember the rule to know what to do. I would like you to do it with all of the words if you can, but the two words that are in green are a little bit more uh, of a challenge. So I'd like to have a go at that if you can. So when you've chosen your words, and you can do them in any order you like, pop them down in the right column. And then if you like an extra challenge, I've written a challenge at the bottom. Do you remember earlier on in the week, I said, don't choose your own words. We need to work out what the rules are. So now we've found out the rules. Now you could choose your own words. So if you have thought of a, of a word where we can add ED, why don't you see if you can follow the rules and put your word into the column too? So if you're using a pen and a piece of paper, you can draw the chart out there and then add the words in. But if you're using a whiteboard and a pen, that's absolutely fine as well. And you can put the words in on your whiteboard. So I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at completing this activity. Okay, I wonder how long it took you to do that. I wonder whether you found that easy or tricky. I'm hoping that you didn't find it too hard, but you might have had to use your brain to think through which of those rules you needed to apply to add the suffix ed to these words. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to think over the weekend if there are any other words that you notice that end in ed and which of those columns it would go into. You don't have to write them down, but now you know the rules, you can start to think about when they might come in handy. Now, I'm going to look forward to seeing them on Dojo. Um, if you can send your work in to me or Mr McInnes or Mr Davis will be really pleased to see it too. And you've worked really hard this week on those four different rules. We're going to be back together next week and we're going to be adding a different suffix. So I look forward to seeing you then. But I hope you have a really, really lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.